let's take a look at how data flows into Google Analytics and how that data is processed to create insightful reports. To connect your website to Google Analytics, you'll need to add a tag to your site. A tag is a small piece of code that is added to each page on your website in order to measure user behavior or add functionality. Tags can be added directly to your website's code or by using a tag management system like Google Tag Manager. There are several ways to tag based on how your website is built. We'll cover this in more detail later. Once the Google Analytics tag has been added to your website, the tag will collect information about users like the device type and their geographic location and how they interact with different pages on your website or app like page views and form submissions. As your customers engage with website or app content, these interactions are sent to Google Analytics as events. Many common interactions are automatically collected as events in Google Analytics. For example, when a user first visits your website or app, Google Analytics will log this action as a first visit or a first open event. And when a user clicks an outbound link to leave your site, GA will record this as an outbound link click event. As events are collected, they are processed and then turned into information you can see in reports. You can then analyze this data to gain specific insights. For the Google Merchandise Store, analytics can show how many users visit a page that sells clothing compared to a page that sells housewares. Or it could show you how many users purchased an item like an Android doll by tracking whether they made a purchase on the confirmation page. In order to collect data from apps, you'll need to add the Firebase Software Development Kit, or SDK, to your app. We'll dive a bit deeper into the SDK later. For the Flooded app, the Firebase SDK will collect and send data similar to the Google tag for websites. This data is processed into reports that could show you how many users are reaching a certain level in a gaming app, or it could tell you how many users made a purchase in the app and what those purchases were. You can also create custom events to capture what is unique and important to your business. For example, you can log events when a user signs up for a newsletter, makes a purchase, or reaches a new level on a gaming app. Once analytics processes the data, it can't be changed. So remember, when you set up your configuration, don't exclude any data you think you might want to analyze later.